Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack. And I'm Tom Zalaski. We begin tonight with the latest in the search for Elijah Vu, who's been missing for seven days now. Police provided an update this evening as the search continues and the hope to once and for all find him. Local 5's Timothy Lato brings us the latest. At the Mikado Theater, Cabrini, Killer Clowns, and Wonka are all showing. But the blockbuster is Elijah Vu, missing for more than a week. It makes you wonder, you know, okay, what happened to him? Headquartered at the theater with sprawling maps, the search for the three-year-old continues on the water and on foot. I have grandchildren the same age, two to, two to five years old, so it kind of breaks your heart. Over the weekend, Two Rivers Police announced a $1,000 reward. Now, the FBI is offering a $15,000 reward. We are doing everything in our efforts, believing that he is still out there. We will find him and we will bring him home. Elijah's aunt knows what line she would say to him. Elijah, if you can hear us, know that you are deeply missed and loved, and we will not rest until you are safely back in our arms. It's the horror film playing out in real life Two Rivers, nearly bringing the sheriff to tears. We're making that plea out to the public. It, everybody's seen that kid's photo. It's pulling at everybody's heartstrings. We need to find them. Somebody knows something. Everyone wants to know the final act to this story. This little guy needs to be found. One way or the other, you know, we need to find out what the truth is. But there's no ending or Elijah yet in sight. In Two Rivers, Timothy Lato, Local 5 News. Law enforcement urges everyone to check your own property no matter where you live since Elijah has family across the state. 